What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I don't believe in charging people or having a Patreon account and charging people. So um, a favor for a favor, um, just smash that like button instead of you know paying for a Patreon account because many people will charge. I don't believe in that. All I ask for you to do is hit that notification bell and hit that like button. So AGMC was a stock that I was not a fan of in the beginning. I was a little iffy with it, but I changed my stance on it. And I'm going to show you why right now. So AGMC Investment Corp, this is a um, real estate investment trust that distributes monthly dividends. I was a little hesitant buying these guys in the beginning because I just didn't like the way um, it has done in the past and I capitalized on this stock and I, I just I looked at the recent uh, changes which I will show you shortly. I really liked what I saw with uh, these guys as a stock but the big thing that really attracted me was their revenue which I will jump to right now. So the earnings of AGNC, okay, now look at the increase, okay. Annually, it's going to be down, obviously. But quarterly, okay, you see December, March took a big hit. It's still up despite what's going on. The revenue on sales, I'll take that, $1.10 billion. And fourth quarter, it was up 0.65. You're talking, you're just basically saying that this stock is having some issues, but it has improved. And real estate, the real estate sector took a huge, huge hit. Okay. Now, comparing it against the S&P, the S&P obviously has done better. So I'm not going to, you know, show you a difference. But with this being way down here at when it was, let's just do three years, right here in the beginning of 2020 when it was at $9.49 a share, it's going to go back up to where it was. So that's the thing that's attractive about the stock. A lot of people who are investors bought it when I was down. So then it'll eventually increase. And it's dividend history I will show you real quick. This is why I got it low, okay? And I'll show you how many shares I own. So looking at its history, okay, it was like 18 cents. So somebody uh, made a comment that I should show more charts or graphs, how things are looking um, because of this. So let's look at this right now. Um, starting in 2018, it was 18 cents. Then it went to 16 cents, 2019, 2020. Then it went to 12 cents. So if you look at a chart with its dividend history, it looks like it's going down, which is unattractive. But when you get in at the right time, especially with things being down, whoops, it's going to fix itself. So eventually it's going to go back up to where it was, and its revenue has increased. It seems like it's stable. Um, this is a stock that you wouldn't want in your um, Roth IRA or traditional IRA. You are in this stock because of dividends. Because AGNC is a real estate investment trust that predominantly uh, focuses in agency residential mortgage-backed securities on a leverage basis. Financed primarily through the collateralized borrowings structured as repurchase agreements. So there's a little bit of volatility with this stock. You have to be careful when you invest in certain stocks. This is an income stock. This is a monthly dividend stock, okay? You are focused on the monthly dividends. Let's jump back to AGMC as a stock. So you're gonna see a little bit of volatility. It's not gonna go all the way up. I doubt it don't I wouldn't bank on this hitting $35 and then jumping up. It's just going to go up and down. It's it's all about the 
dividends. Remember, dividends. You are, you are in this stock because you want dividends. So this real estate investment trust, I was against it in the beginning because it was decreasing its dividend. But I need these monthly dividends to help me with my M1 finance portfolio, which I'm going to jump to right now. So with my M1 finance dividend portfolio, um, I have a real estate sector that I focus on as well as business development companies. And I have AGNC right now as like a 5% uh, slice. Uh, eventually that will get bigger, but I do think that this will help out with monthly dividend stock as a monthly dividend stock to help out with my other stocks. And I have a goal to make $1,000 to $3,000 a month in my monthly dividends and $2,000 to $4,000 a month in my quarterly dividends. So this is highly uh, possible to help me with my monthly dividend strategy with AGNC. And I'm very excited to see how it does over time. So right now, my balance on my, as I refer to as my dividend portfolio is the Death Star. I'm at $12,461.18. Once I get an extra 10,000, okay, once I get to 20,000, which I'm focusing really on this uh, section, the real estate sector, BDCs, then I'm going to get it a little bit smaller or just keep it as is and focus on the other stocks or other sectors. But AGNC is a stock that can help me uh, buy more shares of other stocks because it's, you know, it's not going to go super high. I had a issue with Ryman Hospitality Properties, got it way down, and then it shot way up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how, how can I keep up with this? I got it way down, wasn't distributing dividends. I was going to wait and wait and wait, but I just said, you know what? I'll just sell it, buy other shares and other stocks, focus on my M1 finance dividend portfolio, and look at this. Okay, I earned $46.59 in dividends. Overall, I earned $286.28 on my dividend portfolio, and this is only getting bigger and stronger. This is getting more powerful, and I'm just really excited to see the potential with this dividend portfolio as I go further and further. So um, I know some of you guys are having some issues commenting on my channel. I'm going to email, uh, make some emails and, and speak with Google and those guys to figure out really what's going on because I'm... You know, a lot of you guys are very active on the channel, love commenting, and I just don't know why this is an issue. Um, there have been some people as bots posting, and I have, uh, you know, pretty much uh, got them out or reported them, but I don't understand why some of you guys are having some issues commenting. Um, if any of you guys are new to this channel, um, do you know what I'm talking about? Why are these people having issues uh, not commenting? I would appreciate it. But this is why I like AGNC as a stock, and I'm going to continue to reinvest this stock. And uh, that's pretty much what I have to say right now. Um, let me know what you guys think. And again, make sure you smash that like button because I don't believe in charging you guys. So um, if you, the more likes I get, the more uh, active I, people I see on my channel, I'm going to post more videos. So I'm excited. I get some time to relax a little bit, take a break from graduate school and then um, found out that uh, my hospital will be getting the Moderna vaccine. So um, I'll find out when, I should be finding out in my email soon, but uh, I was hoping it'd be Pfizer, but hey, you know, if it's free, just take the shot, get it over with, and uh, let's get this economy going. So if you guys have the opportunity to take the vaccine, I highly encourage it. You want your dividend portfolio to to grow, you want your IRA or traditional IRA to grow. Um, the key is to get herd immunity. So by getting vaccinated, that increases your chances of herd uh, or everybody getting herd immunity, and us going back to normal. Because I can tell you, uh, not going to a uh, see a jam-packed Ohio State Michigan game, even though Michigan and Ohio State canceled the game. Uh, that's one thing I was really looking forward to this year. But who am I to say? Because you know, there is, uh, there's no fans at the game because, you know, this bug and stuff or watch a big jam-packed Ohio State Clemson game for a playoff game. 
how can you do that? Nobody's, uh, you know, you can't, you can't go to the games. So the faster you get vaccinated, the faster you get better. And, the, um, and you social distance, get vaccinated, the more we can get this uh, economy rolling. So thank you again and have a great Monday.